Most people know Windows 8 is one of the most unpopular versions of the OS, but why did it turn out that way? Well, to understand that, you've got to cast your mind back to 2010, when Microsoft was first developing Windows 8. Apple had just unveiled the iPad, which people were convinced was a laptop killer at the time. And a few years prior, it had launched the first MacBook Air, and the PC makers still had no convincing answer to that product. At the same time, Microsoft knew touchscreen devices were the future, but its efforts to bring touch to Windows 7 had fallen flat. So it needed to completely reinvent Windows, and Windows Phone's Metro UI was ready as a template that could be adapted to bigger screens. The problem was that Microsoft tried to make the new Metro universe with its start screen and full bleed apps live alongside the traditional Windows desktop, and the result on anything that didn't have a touchscreen was a confusing, disjointed UI. If you bought one of the new Surface tablets, you would have a much better time, but ultimately Windows 8 was seen as a failed experiment and to add to the disappointment, if you bought the flagship Surface RT tablet, you couldn't run legacy Win32 apps, you were limited to apps downloaded from the new Windows Store. And it had taken till Windows 10 in 2015 to right those wrongs and give us a proper desktop-focused OS once again. So if you used Windows 8, then be sure to share your memories down in the comments.